So switching gears here, folks, to Florida, my old home state, um, I have to point out that Governor Ron DeSantis has been busy. He's just passed one package of health care bills, and he's passed another bill that deals with the, the homeless, in fact, banning homeless from parks and all these kind of things. Two separate things. We'll talk about them both. The first tranche is this this package of health care bills that was uh, a priority, it says here in this article, of Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo, who's a Naples Republican who has dubbed them the Live Healthy Initiative. So what she said, and this is important, folks, hear this. She said, unfortunately, the new Floridians are not bringing their health care providers with them. We're going to change that. The good news is that Live Healthy will help grow Florida's health care workforce, increase access, incentivize innovation, so Floridians can have more options and opportunities to live healthy here in the Sunshine State. But that first phrase is kind of what I'm focusing on. Unfortunately, she says, the new Floridians are not bringing their health care providers with them. So she's acknowledging that they don't have enough capacity. And down at the bottom of this article, which again, I should give credit to the um, Tampa Free Press, is where this article is coming from. So at the very bottom of it, it says, she makes this quote. She says, access to health care is important at every phase of life. Insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare, does not guarantee access. Even Floridians with great insurance face barriers to care. What kind of a statement is that? She's saying that Medicaid and Medicare do not guarantee access, but they sure as hell will get you in line. I mean, how can you, how can you say once again, that you're not going to expand Medicaid in Florida because it doesn't guarantee access? I mean, so the option is to just push them away and do nothing. I mean, at least it gets them in the damn line. And the whole thing that they're doing here, folks, and you can see it, it's patently obvious what they're doing right now, if you go back to that first statement, she says the new Floridians are not bringing their health care providers with them. So what they're doing is they're, they're prioritizing people from outside the state that are moving in over the poor. I mean, clear and simple, that's what they're doing. Well, I think you've got your answer, folks, as to why Florida won't expand Medicaid for the poor. They want to ensure the best quality of care for the people that are moving in that they see are raising money, you know, bringing money to Florida and spending money in restaurants, you know, shopping, boating, all this kind of stuff. They want to ensure that those people get health care over the poor, right? So the fear is that if they expand Medicare or Medicaid, that, you know, screw the poor, they're more worried about the people that are moving in with the money. I think that's clear through this. And it's, it's just uh, an insidious sort of malignancy that exists, not just in Florida, but in a lot of these other states that they don't want to expand Medicaid folks. And again, the government is picking up the, the huge portion of this Medicaid coverage, but yet they still won't do it. So the other bill that DeSantis is touting right now is, is this one with uh, the homeless folks. So this, this homeless bill that bans people from sleeping in public. Have a listen to this. This is from Fox News. Outing law in order, Governor DeSantis has signed a new bill designed to prevent homeless people from sleeping in public places. He says the law will keep communities from becoming tent cities and ensure that Florida streets are clean and safe for residents. And now the focus shifts to local governments, which will spend the next few months getting plans in place to uphold that law. Fox 13's Carla Byron explains some of the hurdles ahead. House Bill 1365 prohibits the homeless from camping on city streets, sidewalks, and parks, and requires counties to place them in temporary shelters instead. It will help maintain and ensure that Florida streets uh, are clean and that Florida streets 
are safe for our residents. These shelters will be monitored by law enforcement where there must be substance abuse and mental health treatment resources. I'm glad that homelessness is, is getting that type of attention from Congress and from the governor. The director of programs at Talbot House Ministries in Lakeland, a homeless services provider, thinks the bill is a step forward to addressing homelessness, but questions where the money will come from to provide these temporary shelters and how quickly they can be implemented. So that's the question of the whole bill here, folks, is that you basically, Ron DeSantis, Governor Ron, you've just pushed the expense for doing this onto the county and local governments. And where's the funding? I mean, you've, you've just given them this huge burden and you've enabled people because of this law to sue their county and local governments if they're not following the law. So you've now you've just made it a heyday for litigation, which Florida already is. I mean, if you drive around in Florida, my God, every billboard is for a lawyer, for God's sakes. So now he's just created this heyday for lawyers, you know, so that now they can, a citizen can sue the county if they're not following this law of banning people from sleeping in public places. So, I mean, how does that work? If you see, you drive by and all of a sudden a guy's laying on the ground in a park um, that maybe just laid down five minutes ago, you know, that's homeless all of a sudden. I mean, is that a lawsuit? Really? Uh, it's it's insane what he's doing down there. And he says that uh, basically Florida will not allow homeless encamp encampments to intrude on its citizens or undermine their quality of life. And, you know, I can kind of agree with that. I mean, from my perspective, I mean, you don't want parks to become homeless centers, but yet the way that he goes about trying to prevent that from happening is all ass backwards. So this law, as I mentioned, creates a mechanism for counties to designate areas as temporary campsites for up to one year. DeSantis' office said homeless people would be placed in temporary shelters monitored by law enforcement agencies. So what happens after that year? Okay, you're out. Now what? What do you get pushed into the ocean? You know, what do they just kind of put a bag over your head? Um, the designated campsites are required under the bill to provide resources for substance abuse and mental health treatment. Oh, that's great. Okay. Thumbs up. And maintain restrooms and running water. Thumbs up. People living at such a site would be prohibited from using drugs or alcohol. Okay, but yeah, don't they need to eat? I mean, what did, what did they just get, you know, pull leaves off of trees or something like this, you know, um, scavenge for earthworms or something for food? And then what if somebody comes in and they need treatment, they've got a broken arm or they've got a heart condition, you know, after sleeping in the woods or God knows where for a year or two. Um, so you're, you're giving them free health care for mental health and substance abuse. But, you know, again, if they've got a heart condition, what the hell happens then? I mean, there's no provision for that. So they just get kicked out of line. Oh, no, you can only be in this line if you have a substance abuse problem and you have a mental health problem. Anything else, we're not going to take care of. You know, we're Republicans and this is what we do. Um, yeah, what happens to that? That's where Medicaid would fit in, right? I mean, that's where you would naturally say, oh, well, you would fall back on Medicaid. But no, we're too busy trying to provide a beautiful health care environment for people that have money that come in from New York, you know, to give you Medicaid coverage. I mean, it's it's insane, folks. So <laughs> critics have raised questions about how the law would work in practice. The Washington Post says, including whether communities will be able to settle on properties to designate for the campsites. What happens after the one-year expiration date on those sites and whether it will, be, will be able to help people who can't use the temporary sites because they're substance abusers. So yeah, if somebody can't get off of the drug because it's so friggin' addictive, I mean, now what? You know, I mean, it's, it's like an idea, but it's got so many problems. It's like, we want to show that we care and we're doing something, but basically we're just keeping the parks clean, right? That's, that's all it is, folks. Um, what else would you expect from Governor Ron DeSantis? We'll follow this until next time.